this is again very important is T T T rule. T then teacher rule. Many of the kids used to come stand and say, Madam, please tell us what to do in this. I said, ask your partner first. Did you ask your partner? Discuss with your team. Then come to me. Discuss with your team. So T T T then teacher rule. Quite signal. It was very effective. If I was happy, on the board I used to draw a smiley. Whatever group work was going on, and if I was first not happy, I used to draw a frown. And I used to just keep quiet. I used to not ban the duster. Just keep quiet by drawing a frown. Automatically, I know kids love me. They don't want to be me to feel that way. So if one child saw that there was a frown on the face, automatically it passed on to the other side. And there was again, Miss, I need your attention. You are not doing it properly. I can't shout to give instruction. So immediately, like within two minutes, I could hear them. I could see them looking towards me. And then I used to give them instruction. This is where you are going wrong. That's how it should have been. Quite signal can be in one of my party schools in UK. They have a quite, she, she used quite signal was a nice bell. She rang a nice bell. of mandir ki gandhi hoti na. A nice bell. You know, and then kid started, one of the kids starts singing. Everyone joined with that singing. And automatically that one or two lines. And then we want to listen to you, ma'am. Because the small kids, they enjoy doing that because they got a chance to sing in the class. And that was her quite signal. It worked in her classroom. So that was what, at the end of the discussion, this all came out with the student's discussion. It was not I told you, this is what you're supposed to do. I started discussing with them that when we have to work in a cooperative group during the orientation, what are things we need to take care of? And I gave them certain situations. And then finally it came out like this, which were matching so well, no complaints. This is what happens when I enter any class and the child needs my attention, start complaining. So he did that, she did that, and the period goes in taking care of the complaints. But when you're working in a group, you need to understand each and every one. So no complaints in the classroom. You can come, talk to me outside the class, and share it with me. You can mail it to me, but in the classroom, when I am teaching, focus is learning, not complaining. Social skills, this is what tool I did. I'll lead you again. Again, skills, teachers actually accept miracle. They are expecting a miracle. One, one week karvahana, they will change. They will positively change. No, they are in the skills also. First, kids need to identify awareness stage. This could be self communication. Then they are identifying themselves. Then they are trying to work on it. So it is not an one night job. This is what I did. Was This was with my teacher. But this is what I gave it to the students. I ask them to rate themselves pre and post, can listen well when others are speaking, can speak well. All those tools are there. You can make your own customized tool. A researcher, when I was doing action teacher research, I did it in such a way that students assess themselves, I assess them and the teachers also assess them, the other subject teachers also. So finally triangulation method helped us to come to a score. And then there was a self, this is also very important aspect of group work. Self-evaluation, academic goals, social goals, if you see, followed by task and how you have done well when as a group. So they evaluate their work as a group and what they can do better next time, then the last group activity and their initials. So they are accountable, individual accountability and group accountability comes here. They are accountable for their work as well as the group work. So when they start, and in this evaluation also you can always have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 6 people or 4 people. How to come to the consensus of 3? So the one child, one facilitator speaks the statement, other just says the word, number. Say 2. If you agree with 2, there are 2. So all 4 will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Democracy here. If more on 4, will mark 4. No discussion on that. Whatever more is there, that's how you can do it. That is what it is. These are the strategies I use. They are there, there on the net. Think, pair, share, placement, and round robin. 10 minutes are left. All right, I'll put in the form. Think, pair, share. Placement and round robin really helps. Therein, if you see this, there are 
four group members make four part in a chart paper ask everyone to point give their ideas so if one is there one will give right right idea here and then the idea is here then the third one gives idea here fourth one it gives idea here again there are misunderstanding see my teachers always tell them you agree to one thing come to consensus yes come to consensus and at times students disagree still they tend to agree because teachers told them to agree make them very clear that it's not necessary that everyone needs to agree it, you can agree to disagree that's also a point of agreement that we agree to have different ideas and we agree to disagree but it's not necessary that they do but yes all the points which they come in they agree comes in the center ellipse and that becomes the point of presentation for everyone when the group is presenting the point of presentation is where they agree and then they can also share their point of disagreement so this is what was there this is what they did jigsaw is also one of the good strategy number next to get is a good strategy very it's like how do i come to know that the group the whole, all of them have learned so i can randomly pick up any child and say okay group number 4 group num number 3 please give me the answer of this and based on that i'm scoring the group learning so everyone ensures that she can pick up anyone and in that case i will take take care that the child who is weaker with content also in learns the content the child who is weaker with communication also learns when you start with pair first they get develop confidence in pairing with each other and sharing in the pair then think pair share then you can make it as think pair square so two pairs will make share with the other other pair so it becomes a square so first they learn to develop confidence with two then they learn to share with four then they learn to share it with the whole class and then in the assembly just Many times teachers say, "Okay, she is having no confidence level, not good with presentation." Okay, this time in the news in the assembly, she will speak the news, and she ends up shaking. She ends up making not able to speak the whole news together. She is not used to speaking in the assembly. She is actually having not. Do, don't push the child into the sea. No, start gradually. Start with pair. Start with square. Start with sharing with the other group member, other group. So one group shares with the other group. Then. Learns to share with the class. Then in the assembly, so eventually over a six months time, we see that the kids do turn out. Those who were not sharing now will be able to share even in the assembly of the institution. And these are the scores. Family type again. I tried this two new variables which was appreciated in the research report also. That you try with family type, nuclear and joint family. Today's circumstances where the nuclear families are there. they don't get opportunities to share and school is the best environment where we can create such environment wherein they can learn to share and learn to develop communication with their community same is with uh, siblings i found that students having introverts and extrovert again introverts showed good results with cl presentation skills also i found them better and if you see the sibling variety also they do better with the siblings also so what all all as all students are encouraged to participate and equal opportunities are given to all introverts they gain confidence in sharing while building on their social skills was my this was very important to me this is what i learned from my work it's very important bridges a gap between a student and a teacher that trust between the two kids that if i give the book you'll return it back tomorrow or at least day after that trust develops if we allow them to share with each other i notice that peers they require their efforts and inputs made by students or their peers for develop and acquire cooperative skills we need to notice that as a teacher when i notice that in the video and share with the child the child actually develop okay i'm working it's a very nice story which says na ki the the the, the girl right wrote a very nice essay and submitted to the teacher and the teacher saw the essay she went on and she was stunned what do i do there so many grammatical errors so many spelling errors how can i tell the child the child actually with lot of love came and presented to me she will feel hurt if i tell her there are grammatical errors and spelling errors and all red if i check it with entire red so she started with that. my dear rita for example the name of the child is rita my dear rita i could see that you have drawn margins nicely 
could see that you have worked on your handwriting very nicely you have written. You have maintained the lines. Very good job you have done. And before she finishes the child told, thank you very much ma'am. I worked really hard on my presentation. Now I will work on my grammar and spellings. The child can work at one thing at a time. One thing at a time. And when you notice a small change, Appreciate that. That is what was my learning when I was doing this year. And connect the efforts with the objective every time. My objective was to develop confidence in the students. I always connected efforts into the object. Reflect and confident individuals definitely will get. If the educator is confident of the strategy which she is using in the classroom, then we will get confident learners. So this is what. I became a member of ISCE after this research and I was able to share my paper at the University of uh, Education, Faculty of Education, Scarborough. Pasi and all those were inspiring moments for me and that's how. Okay, this I can start with the first slide and I don't know many of them were not here but this is what I was talking about. Uh, I'll just again share. Are you aware of this picture? What does this picture say? It says Ubuntu. I started with that. I'm ending on that. It says Ubuntu. Here are the kids were again because only you were there when I started. Did you really hear the story that I was talking about? No. It's like it starts with that there was a basket of fruit and the kids were asked to run. And the one who reaches there will get all the fruits. All these kids, they joined their hands and they ran and they enjoyed the fruits together. And when they were asked, why did they do that? This is what they shouted, Ubuntu. And in Swahili language, Ubuntu stands for I am because we are and because we are, you are. So even I am important or individual, community or both. I cannot say individual is always important than community or community is always important than individual. But yes, we both live together, we can survive together only. And that is how I have observed that CL, if it is with academic goals, I am not actually here to publicize CL, but I am just to share that it works if it is mixed with academic goals and social goals. I am a teacher who is aware of the strategy before jumping into it, takes, do, does some homework, understands how to implement it and then orients the students towards its implementation before actually jumping into it. It helps. Otherwise, it's a disaster. It can turn out to be any other activities which I've been picked up. 